Thank you, Sages, for having us here again. And my name is Warit Rangsi Tananon from Pumi Pondonidet Hospital, Thailand. I have nothing to disclose. Right, so um, as we all know, gallbladder, oh, sorry, gallstone is one of the most common digestive disease around the world. And about 20 to 50, uh, 20 percent of patients with gallstone also have concurrent common bladder stones. And half of that is symptomatic with varying degrees of complications. The most effective treatment is still unclear, as there exists both one step and two step procedure, as seen here. But current literature continues to support the use of ERCP followed by LC as the mainstay treatment for the CCL. But this mode of treatment usually is determined by professional preference, uh, technical availability, and resource patient risk and status, and operating theater as schedule. And it requires tremendous harmony between the endoscopist team and uh, surgical team. So early or delayed LC, the optimal duration as of now is still controversial and there is still lack of consistency on operate, operate timing between the procedure, and some may um, question whether the time intervals affect the outcome of the LC at all. Well, the major concerns for us surgeons is uh, complication and difficulty uh, during early cholecystectomy versus gallstone-related adverse events from delaying the treatment. So our goal was to compare the operative outcome of early versus delayed LC after Vidoc stone removal by RCP, and as well as to observe gallstone related complications prior to LC. We conducted a retrospective uh, cohort study in our hospital on patients who presented with CCL from January 2015 to December 2018. And we included all the patients over 18 years of age who was first diagnosed with CCL and had ERCP and LC done in the same center, and we excluded any uh, emergency LC done and uh, the reverse order had LC prior to ERCP or history of any previous hepatobiary surgery or incomplete medical record. All the stones were um, reported by board certified radiologists using either ultrasound, CT scan, or MRI. Uh, we define the early LC as uh, LC performed within seven days after ERCP and within the same admission, while the delayed LC group is any days between seven days to six months or 180 days. Initially, we had 286 patients who were diagnosed with CCL, and only 50, uh, 60 were eligible at the end of the study. When after the cut point of seven days, we found only 16 patients who had early LC and 44 patients in the delayed LC. And this was done uh, before 2018. And patient characteristics were compared between groups and uh, the, time, the mean time to LC for the early one is three days and 82 days in the delayed group. And we didn't find any significant difference between age, gender, BMI, and comorbidities except diabetes, which is uh, higher in early group. And we compared initial ERCP finding as well. And we did not find any statistical significant uh, difference in CBD diameters, size of stones, and endoscopic time. For the operative outcome for conversion rate, we did not find statistical uh, difference between the early and the delayed group at 12 and 11 percent. But for the complication, we found a higher rate of intraoperative gallbladder perforation at 31 percent over to 11 percent in the earlier group. Uh, here we observed a minor CBD injury, which were treated uh, endoscopically, uh, about three uh, patients here. And the operative time and blood loss and length of hospital stay were not significant between groups. However, for gallstone related adverse event, we observed that, that uh, during the interval, uh, we found 11% of patients in the delayed group uh, revisited us with uh, acute cholecystitis and about 4.5% presented with recurrent stones with complications. Here we understand that we uh, had a number of limitations, including the retrospective nature of the study and small sample size, especially in the early group. And we didn't account for the different severity of the disease and difficulty during the operation. And um, because we uh, had, sometimes we had different teams and um, 
patients came from different departments. So we had different endoscopic and surgeons. So we didn't account for the different in terms of operative techniques as well. So in conclusion, we think that both early and delayed LC are viable options for CCR after ERCP. And we did not find any difference in overall complication rate. However, we observed a higher rate of intraocular perforation in ELC, probably due to the inflammation. But we think that the early LC is favorable in order to minimize the adverse event prior to LC. Yeah, thank you. Happy to take any question.